Oh hey, it's time to figure out April TBR. <laughs> Hi guys, nice to meet you if you're new here. Nice to see you if you're not new here. How's it going? I'm Lara. I'm using a skeleton, like Halloween hand, because I couldn't find anything else that was clear. So you could see the slips in here. It's fun to pick my TBR in different ways each month. And this month I decided on a TBR drawer. I made so many slips. I was on Pinterest, I was on TikTok, I was on YouTube looking up different things. I came up with some by myself. There are so many slips in here. So we're gonna have the TBR jar pick our prompts. I mean, we're, the TBR prompt jar is gonna pick our books. You know what? You know how this goes. There's a lot of people that do this on YouTube. You know, you know what's going on. I have been in such a slump. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you would know that I've been in such a slump. This month has just not been a great reading month for me. April is going to be an amazing reading month. I can already feel it. I don't think I'm going to do a wrap up for this month. I think I'm going to wait until April and then do both because I haven't read that many books and it'll be a really short video. So I think I'm just going to combine it with next month. Hopefully these prompts make me want to read some of these books. I'm going to pick seven. It's probably too many. On top of the seven, I also have our book club pick, so I'm technically going to have eight books on my TBR. And I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling like this month will be a good reading month. There are different colors in here. They mean nothing. Let's, let's just jump in. We'll pick our first one. Let's, let's pick. Okay. I've got one. I've got one. This is a book that scares you. I'm just, I'm just a YouTuber, you know? A book that scares me. This is a book that I'm just intimidated to read. Okay, let me think. Okay, I think I picked one. I think a lot of the books that intimidate me are my fantasy books because although I love to read fantasy, if I'm not in the right headspace to read a more intricate book that's not just about falling in love, there's more to it. Sometimes I just am intimidated by my fantasy books. And I have quite a few. So I chose The Bonesmith by Nikki Pau Preto. I don't think I'm saying that right, but I chose this book. It's very pretty. She's very pretty. This book is about Valkyrie and ghost fighting warriors. I, I'm a little confused also what this book is about. I get it. It's about warriors and she's trying to get back into the good grace of her family. She wants to gain her family's respect after she didn't qualify for the trials. I probably had this book for probably at least at least a year, maybe longer. And I've never really looked at this book because every time I see just like, because it sits on my shelf like this. Every time I see this, I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready for this kind of book. So this is a book I'm choosing for a book that scares me or intimidates me because it's a fantasy and warrior and fighting and can my imagination keep up? Yay. That's first book down. Six more prompts to go. Next pick. Okay, this is one. Highest rated book on TBR. I'm just a beauty guru. So this is, I'm going to put every single book on my physical TBR into a Goodreads sheet and then see what the highest rated book is. So just give me a minute. <laughs> I just went through my physical TBR and put um, my books into a shelf on Goodreads. And now we're going to look at what my highest rated book is. We're going to put it as, we'll do average rating. All right. So it looks like my highest rated book on my TBR is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I have read that book before and I do want to read it again, but I'm gonna go to the next one because I have read that book and I know the rating to that book. I know why it's the highest rated book. So we're gonna go to the next one down, which is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. It has a 4.32, which is just a little under Legendborn. Is this only my second book? <laughs> it has a 4.32 average on Goodreads, which is technically my second highest rated book on my TBR. The first one's Legendborn, but we have a plan for that and we can't read it yet. But I do understand why that is the highest rated book on my TBR. I do understand. I think about that book all the time. But this is what we're reading. It's 
something dark, it's fantasy, it's got like magic cards. You know, um, uh, ancient spirit trapped in her head, he protects her, he keeps her secrets, but nothing comes for free, especially magic. Okay, okay, this one sounds a bit interesting. Wow, we also got like a color scheme so far, which is green and gold, actually. How fun. Let's pick our next book. That one took a while. Let's go. Oh, I accidentally have one in my hand, so I guess this is the one we're going with. Don't like the cover. This is a cover I just don't like. Okay. Okay. What's a cover I don't like? I can tell you what cover I don't like, but I don't want to read that book. I have a book. I'm not excited about it. This cover is ugly. This is a really ugly cover. Because why does it look like this? There's no explanation for this book. We're moving on. I don't like that cover. And everybody knows what that book is. We're moving on. <coughs> okay, next one. I'm picking our fourth book. All right, I've got one. Want to read on Goodreads, which is just, we all have on Goodreads the want to read. Right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a random way to sort it, and then I'm going to close my eyes and scroll and just tap my finger on one, and that's what I'm reading. And I haven't gone through this in a while, so I don't know. Let's just do it by, by author. Let's just scroll. Okay, ready? One, two, three. That's not out yet. I landed on Daydream. That doesn't come out till I think August, so let's go again. Go. We hunt the flame. Okay, that means I have to buy a book. Okay, I'm kind of excited about this one. I almost bought this book a couple months ago and I didn't end up buying it because I have other books on my shelf that I should be reading. But this is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal, and I am really excited about it. Safira is a hunter, she's feeding her people, she's disguising herself as a man, and then there's Nasir, who is the Prince of Death. Safira goes to this island to grab this artifact, and he is sent there to kill Safira. But there's something a little bit more threatening there. I love an excuse to buy a book, and I am excited to read this book. It sounds really interesting. She's a hunter, but she's disguising herself as a man. He's sent to kill her, and you know what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen on this island when something bad happens to them? Who knows? That's exciting! Ah, I love buying books. I love buying books. Okay, let's pick our next one. How many is that? That's four. Wow. Okay. All right, got one. First green one, too. Shortest book that I own. What's the shortest book that I own? Okay, the shortest book that I own that I haven't read yet is Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater with 282 pages. Most books I have range about the 300 page mark. This one is 282. And we also know that I tried to read this last month. This month, technically. I tried to read this and I got about 30 pages into it and I had to put it down, but we're giving it another try this month. I didn't DNF, but I just put it down because I wasn't in the mood for it. This is about Theodora who was cursed by a fairy and now she no longer really has any emotions. She kind of just doesn't care. No fear, no embarrassment, no nothing. But this evil sorcerer finds out about how she has no emotions, how she's cursed. She's drawn to this dangerous fairy's affairs. That's the shortest book that I own on my physical TBR. So far we have five, that's two more books, and then I still technically have my book club pick to tell y'all about. So let's pick our last two. Oh, this one fell out. So this one is a one word title. Oh, did I not show you any of these? I don't know the last time I showed you one. So let's, let's show you a couple. I don't know when I showed you them. Want to read? One word title. A one word title. Ooh. Ooh. 
This is a one more title. This is Legendary, which is the second book in the Caraval trilogy. I read Caraval this month and absolutely loved it. It was so close to a five star. So I'm thinking this might be a five star read. Cross on my fingers. I think it's following what happens at the cup, the last couple of pages that happen at the end of Caraval, which is interesting. I wanted to read this book right after I read Caraval, but I needed to, I needed to wait. I needed to wait, but I'm excited to read it this month. This one for sure will be read. If any of these are read, it will be this one. Last one. Let's make it a good one. Okay. This is the one I've got. A book from a genre you don't read. Well, that would be thriller. Because I don't pick thriller up. Ever. I don't want to read a thriller. I never read for a thriller. I don't think I've read one thriller this year. I'm not a thriller person, so I'm gonna do that. I chose The Last Word by Taylor Adams. This is about a person who leaves a negative book review and the author comes after them. A psychological thriller, never read for them. They are fun if I do read for them. I tend to enjoy them, but they scare me. So I don't pick them up. So we're gonna go with this one. Yay! Firstly, we have a book that scares you, which is The Bonesmith, because it's quite intimidating. There's a lot of fantasy this month. Then we have highest rated book on my TBR, which technically is not One Dark Window. We're going with One Dark Window. Win Hello. We're going with One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. <laughs> then we have a cover I don't like. One to read on my Goodreads, which is We Hunt the Flame, which I'm so excited to buy a new book. Shortest book on my TBR, which is Half a Soul. A one word title, which is Legendary. And finally, we have a genre I don't read, which is Psychological Thriller. And it's the last word. My book club pick this month, I put a poll out for my book club and we ended up going with The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. I will say, I kind of want to go into this book without really knowing too much. I know how terrible me, somebody who tells you about books, does not tell you about book. I don't really want to know what the book is about. I kind of just want to go into this one because book club chose it and they chose it for a reason. So I want to go into it without really knowing what it's about. But our book club pick of this month, our first book club pick ever is Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. I am actually really excited to go into this month and read. I just have not been reading recently. The only time that I've really been reading is when I'm filming a video. So when I read 200 pages a day for a week, I'm not reading too much on my own, which is just not fun. Those are my book picks for April. Those are my picks for the month. Really excited. I really enjoy the TBR jar. I don't know if I'm going to put these prompts back in or if I'm just going to put them off to the side and put them back in later because we still have so many prompts in here. And if you liked it, maybe we'll do a TBR jar prompt picks my books for next month. Or I was thinking of doing this for a week. If you want to join my book club, it's linked in the description. I never say it, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Other than that, I hopefully will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.